Hello, hello. Welcome back to this edition of Our Positive Word. How are you doing? Thank you for joining me and welcome to a new week of God's faithfulness. The topic for this session today is, where is your garden? Where is your garden? Well, by garden, I'm not referring to any physical plot, piece, patch of land where you can cultivate crops. I'm talking about the garden of your life. Where is that garden? What's the state of that garden in relation to your relationship with God? If God shows up in the garden of your life today, would you want him to come in unannounced or would you want him to send an send you a message in advance? Just like in Genesis chapter 3, where a Lord showed up in the garden, just like he normally did with Adam and Eve, and they went and hid themselves. We're told in Genesis chapter 3 verse 8, that the, and they heard the voice of the Lord walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord among the trees of the garden. They went to hide. Why did they hide? They had sinned. They had done what God had asked them not to do. And they went to hiding. What is the state of your garden? Where you used to meet with God? What are you trying to cover up from being seen by God? What parts of the garden of your life have you allowed weeds to overtake? Sin will always create a distance between us and God because he is pure. God cannot walk in a place where sin dwells. He cannot dwell in that place. How is your garden, my friend? We're told in Philippians chapter 2, verse 13, For God is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him. It is God who gives us the inclination to do his desires. He gives us, gives it to us, and we are to apply it. He will not force us to do what pleases him. That will come freely with us choosing. What are you choosing to do with your garden? Where is your garden? Have you got space where you can walk regularly with God? You meet with him? Or do you only come to him for supplies, pleasures, and other things that you can gain? If you're hiding from God, then you need to wonder, find out why you're hiding. The more you hide, the further away you move from God. Who alone can help you find peace, joy, satisfaction, and he will give you a firm foundation to cultivate a luscious garden where he can meet with you, my friend. Your garden is the place where you meet with God. It might be a specific location, a specific place, and it does not have to be so that you don't feel restricted by location or ceremony when you want to commune with your father. God used to meet with Adam and Eve in that garden, but when they sinned, they hid from him. They knew to run away because they know God cannot dwell among sin. Are you at the hiding stage in your garden? What did you do that you think you should hide from your creator? How long do you think you can hide? Dearly beloved, your garden is a place where you can talk to God and he talks to you as well if you listen closely. Why abandon such place? God is the one who will give you ideas on how to carry on in life from that garden, that meeting point. Where is your garden? I pray that God will help us to remain in the garden where we can meet with him to help us cultivate that garden and keep it tidy, pure, sanctified, holy. Precious Father, help us to find a space for you in our daily lives where we can walk with you, where we do not spend our time asking for blessings only, but to spend time with you, relish your presence, listen to hear from you, May we always come back, no matter what we have done, no matter the sin that we may have committed. Let us come back in humility and ask for forgiveness and continue to fellowship with you, Father. I pray God will help us 
to find time to spend with him in the garden of our lives. I thank you for joining me today. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye for now. God bless you as you locate your garden and stay in communication with God.